Dan List here from SPA Technique. Uh, RaceKnowHow.com came in and asked us to talk about dirt late model uh, fire suppression systems. All right, for mounting the fire system, uh, we would say upright to laid down position, and we would say mount it somewhere where it's protected from getting hit. Uh, so like behind the driver would be a very good place. Uh, I know a lot of people are mounting right up outside the cockpit off the dash. As long as it isn't getting pummeled with rocks and stuff, that's probably good because you could cause damage to the cylinder and the head of the bottle, like the gauge. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also with the tubing, you want to make sure you don't kink it because that will mean nothing will get to the location. So you want nice bends, no kinks. Make sure all the fittings are pushed in and tight and also make sure your valve for our system is open and we recommend safety wiring it open and with some of the others if they you have the mechanical option uh, make sure the safety pin is out so it's ready for use some systems have a solid dip tube inside so once you start to get into this position so the head's facing down then all you're getting is gas pressure ours has technology that we use from our FIA systems, which they actually do a rotation test as part of their test. So when ours goes upside down, it drops to the lowest point in the bottle. What makes uh, our dirt late model system very different from everybody else's is we felt that the driver should always be covered. So with most everybody's system like this one here, everybody else is using the, the NASCAR auto nozzle, which in NASCAR just covers the fuel cell. That's it. They're doing two of these off one bottle. What we didn't like about this idea was if the one fuel cell goes off, doesn't put out the fire, nothing has gone to the driver and the bottle's empty. So we developed our auto manual block. So it's got the thermal activation. The driver can manually pull it if it's mounted next to him or if it's mounted at the fuel cell, pull cable can be mounted to it. You can plumb multiple nozzles off of it four total to cover the driver, fuel cell, and even the engine. Also, we use push lock fitting, so all you gotta do is cut the tubing, push it in, and if you wanna release it, you pull in on the end of, end of the fitting and pull the tube out. You can do a hard line from the bottle to the block, or you can do a braided line. Another feature is, is we have a valve, so you can do all the plumbing and then open that up and safety wire it open to race. Whereas with the others, this line is pressured. So you have to feed it through the car under pressure and make sure you never break it loose because you're gonna have to send it in for a refill. Also, we have both FireAid and Novec 1230 as our agents. The FireAid is aqueous film forming foam. Uh, the Novec 1230 is by 3M and is considered a halon replacement, but it's safe to breathe in because it works 80% cooling. Both are great products. It just depends on your preference. This is Dan from SPA Technique, and now you know how.